This is a short tutorial showing ImagePro Premiere version 9.1 and how to set up and use co-localization. The co-localization tool has been updated to include both new methodologies and tools for analyzing co-localization. The tutorial will show working with both confocal data sets and working with individual images. In addition, we will also go over object versus image based co-localization. So let's start off by analyzing a confocal data set. In this case, this is a multi-channel confocal data set. And to launch co-localization, co I'll go to the Measure tab. In the Measure tab, we have our co-localization tool. From here, I can select what channels to analyze. So let's start off by selecting my channel. I'm going to select channel 3 and channel 4. I'm going to leave off parent for now. I'm just going to do straightforward image co-localization. From here I can choose what pair I would like these to be. So I'm going to choose just red green. What resulting type? I can either use frequency or color. I'm going to select color. And for threshold, this is also a new feature. We have zero uh, Pearson. We also have auto bright. I'm just going to set to auto bright. And to start off the co-localization, I'm going to press create. What this will do is create a new color image showing you co-localized values between my two channels. Now there's a couple choices here. I can adjust my threshold. And what will, you'll also notice is my changing values in the table. I can also export this data if you'd like to just by pressing Excel. And that is exporting the data right to Excel. There's also a few other choices here. Besides doing threshold base, I can also choose to add regions of interest. So in this case, here's my region of interest tool. I can adjust this how I'd like to and showing the co-localization between those values. And I can adjust that either in the plot or off of the image. In addition, let me set this back to thresholds. In addition, I can also do object-based co-localization. So let me start off showing that. Here I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete my co-localization. And as I had rearranged things, I'm going to close my color image. Okay, I'm going to now add a parent child. So now I'm going to select my channel three. My channel four and now I'm going to select a parent image. In this case, I'm going to choose my first channel. Again, I have the selections, color pair, result type, and threshold. And I'm going to press create. Very similar to what we've done in the past, but now I also have a third channel, which is now going to be my parent channel. So if I want to know the co-localization values just within the area of the nuclei in this case, I can do that. And to do this, I'm going to use my threshold tool in the, tool in the co localization plot. This will bring up a standard thresholding tool. And what's important to note is if I start segmenting, if there's some non specific um, labeling, I can filter out using the count size tools any of these small areas. So I'm only left with the outlines of the nuclei. And to do that, I can go to count size. I can select my types. And here I have my area. I'm going to edit range. You can see I've selected a, a whole series of small areas. So what I want to do is filter out all the small. And now I'm left with my four nuclei. I'm going to apply on close. Now it's important to note here is, I'm just going to go back and just check that. That's good. Back to my co-localization. At this point, I can now count. And so now I have my four nuclei showing all my co-localized areas based upon my intensity thresholds per channel or I can also use the freehand region of interest. 
More importantly, if I add my measurements, this is going to add co-localization measurements to the table. And so now for each parent object, I can get my co-localization values. This data table can also be exported directly to Excel. And finally, let me close this data table, delete all of this, and we'll show using individual images. It's going to be a slightly different type. So what I'm going to do this time is, let's close our confocal data. I'm going to choose an image. If I had multiple images open, I'm going to choose the active image. Going back to our measure ribbon, I'm going to select co-localization. In this case, I already have my active image selected. I am now going to select my second image. Again, I only have two images. If I had other images up, I could actually use a parent image and actually do object-based co-localization. Again, this time I'm only dealing with two images. Again, choosing my color scheme type. Again, choosing my threshold methodology. I can press create. Again, that now creates a color image. Again, doing based upon thresholds. I can make my adjustments. Uh, again, that's a different auto segmentation routine based upon the uh, zero Pearsons. Once I have my co-localization, my value set, again, I can now export this data directly to Excel. For more information on co-localization or ImagePro Premier, please contact your dealer or local sales office. Thank you.